This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can brighten the colors of your vector artwork using Adobe Illustrator. And I'll be showing you how to do this globally, all at once, without having to select each individual object and change its color. As you can see here on my screen, I have a little before and after here. We start out with something over here on the left, and after we apply this effect, we make these colors more vibrant and bright over here on the right, as you can see. So let me go ahead and open up a different document here. Here's the example artwork I'll be working with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag over it to select everything. And then I'm gonna come up here to where it says edit. And I'm looking for edit colors, and I'm gonna to go to recolor artwork. And from the recolor artwork menu, let me move this off to the side so we can see what's going on here. I'm looking for this little button down here in the bottom right corner that says advanced options. I'm gonna click on that. And then we're gonna get this bigger menu right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to this little menu icon right here, click on that, and we're going to open up Global Adjust. And with the Global Adjust options, we have all of these different settings that we can change of our vector artwork, like the saturation, the brightness, the temperature, so on and so forth. And this applies it to the artwork globally so that you don't have to do this to each individual vector object, which is pretty cool. This is a unique feature to, to Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the brightness here. Let me increase that a little bit. And if you notice, those darker areas are becoming more colorful. So I'm going to increase that about that much. Maybe I'll increase the saturation a little bit. And if you want to see a before and after, you could just toggle off the recolor artwork, recolor art right here button. Let me just toggle that off and see the difference there. Maybe I'll make that a little brighter or maybe not. And once you're done changing the brightness, you may notice that you have some colors, some individual colors in here that you're not happy with. Like for example, this color in here, I'd like this to be a little more white. So I'd like to change just that individual color. You can do that up here in this list of colors. And uh, this color right here looks like it matches up with this one. So I'm gonna double click this. And I'm just gonna make this a little brighter. Maybe I'll bring this up. Up top here is the after, down here is the before. So it's gonna go from this to this. And I'm gonna click OK. And you can see it looks a lot better. I'm going to do the same thing to this shadow right here. I'm going to change that to match it. Let me double click that. Make that a little lighter. See how that looks. Click OK. Again, looking a lot better. Now up here, if you notice, we have like this green color. I'd like to make that more blue. So I'm going to change that as well. I'm going to make this more of a blue like that. Let me bring this up. Bring some more saturation in there. Click OK. Do the same thing with this one over here. Bring that up, make that more blue, and bring this over here like that. Click OK. Looking a lot better. I actually want to make this a little lighter, so let me go back and change that again. Make that a little lighter. OK. Now what you can do is you can toggle the recolor, the recolor art box off and on to see the difference there. And if you notice, the difference is night and day. This looks a lot better, a lot more vibrant, a lot more lively than this right here. So let me put that back on. Let me click OK. And there you go. You have brightened the colors of all of your vector objects here globally without having to do it individually. So that's how you can go about brightening the colors of your image using uh, Adobe Illustrator. Now I should mention this effect only works with vector objects. If you're trying to apply this to like a raster image, like a photograph or a JPEG or something like that, it's not gonna work. You'll have to use a different method. If you wanna change the colors of your, your vector artwork though, that's how you can go about doing it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.